viewers, welcome to another Natus Master video. Today we're discussing uh, overclocking your graphics card. Well, as you might know or not know, my graphics card is a 8500 GT from NVIDIA. Um, it's a piece of shit when it's not overclocked. And, um, you know, I've seen a lot of comments on a lot of videos discussing the 8500 GT as a very shitty card with no overclocking which overclocking is not really useful on but you know I just like to check that out well I've already uh, installed EVGA precision you might google it and uh, download it um, it monitors your temperature of your graphics card your fan speed core clock shader clock so I've already overclocked this let's set it back to default by default, this has a 450 MHz car clock, a 900 MHz shader clock, and a 400 MHz memory clock. Memory type is DDR2, and it's really shitty. So, we're going to overclock this to around 700 MHz core clock, 1400 MHz shader clock, and around 450 for our memory clock and our fan speed at 100%. Please notice that my GPU is still very cool. It's 40 degrees, thanks to my Arctic Cooling Accelero S1. It's really, really nice. So, we're going to benchmark using fraps. Uh, let's see, I want to that, that one. Uh, I'm not going to show you the in-game because I already tried a lot of things, but you know, if I'm r recording with fraps while I'm also benchmarking with fraps, that will give us nah, not very fair results. So I'm going to benchmark this, and then I will, and then I'll be back with the results. So there we are again, and here are the results of our benchmark. Um, the specs I will was using are ten. 1280 by 1024 resolution, 32 bits per pixel, direct 3D, of course, 4 times anti aliasing, 4 times an acid drop filtering, uh, for the and um, everything maxed out. Well, these are the results. Uh, on 2 minutes of benchmarking, the minimum amount of frames was 44, max was 130, so an average of 70.567. So I think that is pretty neat for uh, the overclocked version. So what we're going to do now is go back to our EVGA precision. We set everything to default and um, redo benchmark. Let's call this non-OC UT2K4. And let's benchmark another time and then we will be back with those results. So I really uh, did the wrong name on that file. I it w uh, it should be called OCUT2K4. See, this is that one. So let's pick this one. This is the really non OC version. So this is OC uh, 70.567. And this 62.117 with a minimum of 32 frames per second. Is, uh, even the minimum is already 12 frames higher so whoa so this is uh well it's promising for such a game i mean uh you know when you turn up the anti-aliasing the frames get you know split in half or something like that um so to round things up you should all get evga precision because it works on all graphics cards it doesn't matter if it's an NVIDIA or an ATI. A lot of people say, hey, ATI tool works on NVIDIA. Well, not on my card. I tried it. River Tuner does not overclock as much as EVGA Precision. So leave that. Just leave that where it is. Because if you update your drivers or something, it will not recognize the new drivers or something like that. It, I had some issues with River Tuner. So I stick with EV EVGA Precision. It's a small program, it's easy to overclock, just adjust some sliders and you're good to go. So that's basically it 
that's basically all uh, I wanted to to tell you in this video. And uh, please comment and rate.